tables and charts in PowerPoint. Learning plan What is PowerPoint? To create a table, charts in PowerPoint. Mighty, today ma'am has given mark sheet of 5 students and asked to compare marks of all students. Oh, you can compare marks by making tables and charts in PowerPoint 2007. What is PowerPoint? Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 is a presentation program which allows the users to create engaging presentations for slideshows, meetings and web pages. The program allows the user to quickly and easily create professional looking presentations that include predefined designs and the ability to create animations. To create a table PowerPoint is a great way to present data to groups. If you create slideshows, it's important to know how to present information. Place the cursor on the page where you want the new table. On the ribbon, click the Insert tab and click Table in the Tables group. You can create a table one of four ways. Highlight the number of rows and columns, selected rows and columns, created table or Click Insert Table option and enter the number of rows and columns required. Or, How to draw a table? PowerPoint's Draw Table command lets you draw complicated tables on your PowerPoint slides. In the Insert tab on the ribbon, click the Table button in the Tables group and then choose Draw Table from the menu that appears. PowerPoint changes the cursor to a little pencil. Draw the overall shape of the table by dragging the mouse to create a rectangular boundary for the table. Add a row. Click a table cell in the row above or below where you want the new row to appear. On the table tools on the layout tab in the table group, click select and then click select row. On the tables tools on the layout tab in the rows and columns group, do one of the following. To add a row above the selected row, click Insert above. To add a row below the selected row, click Insert below Added Row. Merge Table Cell Select the table cells that you want to combine. It is not possible to select multiple non-contiguous cells. Under Table Tools in the Layout tab in the Merge group, click Merge Cells. Split Table Cells Click the table cell that you want to split. Under Table Tools in the Layout tab, in the Merge group, click Split Cells and then do one or both of the following. To divide a cell vertically in the Number of Columns box, enter the number of new cells that you want. Split Cells Vertically. To divide a cell horizontally in the Number of Rows box, enter the number of new cells that you want. Split Cells Horizontally. To divide a cell both horizontally and vertically in the number of columns box, enter the number of new columns that you want and then in the number of rows box, enter the number of new rows that you want. Split cells vertically and horizontally. Enter data in a table. Place the cursor in the cell where you wish to enter the information. Begin typing. Delete a column or row. Click a table cell in the column or row that you want to delete. Under Table Tools in the Layout tab in the Table group, click Select and then click Select Column or Select Row. Under Table Tools on the Layout tab in the Rows and Columns group, do one of the following. To delete rows, click Delete Rows. To delete columns, click Delete Columns. Charts in PowerPoint Instead of using boring and hard-to-read tables in your presentations, insert colorful charts with PowerPoint 2007. Charts make it easy for your audience to visualize trends and patterns and can prevent people from getting squint-eyed or distracted. PowerPoint offers many types of charts including column, line, pie, bar, area, scatter and more. Charts and their elements. Charts are used to display series of numeric data in a graphical format to make it easier to understand large quantities of data and the relationship between different series of data. 
A chart has many elements. Some of these elements are displayed by default, while others can be added as needed. You can change the display of the chart elements by moving them to other locations in the chart, resizing them, or by changing the format. The chart area, the entire chart and all its elements. The horizontal category axis x-axis. The x-axis is usually the horizontal axis and contains categories. Vertical value axis y-axis. The y-axis is usually the vertical axis and contains data. The data points. Individual values plotted in a chart and represented by bars, columns, lines, pie or donut slices, dots and various other shapes are called data markers. Data markers of the same color constitute a data series. Chart title. Descriptive text that is automatically aligned to an axis or centered at the top of a chart. Plot area. The area bounded by the axis including all data series. In a 3D chart, the area bounded by the axis including the data series, category names, tick mark labels and axis titles. Legend, a key that identifies patterns, colors, or symbols associated with the markers of a chart data series. The legend shows the data series name corresponding to each data marker. Chart types, PowerPoint offers 11 chart categories. Each type of PowerPoint chart gives you a different kind of picture for the information in it. You can define a chart type when creating your chart in step 1 of the chart wizard or on an existing chart using the technique described below. Pie charts can be used to compare different percentages of a whole. Data from categories is displayed as a percentage of a whole. Column charts are used to compare values in different categories against one another usually over time. The data is displayed in vertical columns. Line charts. Examine how values fluctuate over time. Data is displayed in a set of points connected by a line. XY scatter. Compares different numeric data point sets in space to reveal patterns and trends in data. Some more. Pie charts have no axes. Three-dimensional charts have an x-axis, a y-axis and a z-axis. Insert a chart. Click the Insert tab on the ribbon and then click the Chart option. The Insert Chart dialog box appears. Select the chart category you want from the left side of the dialog box. Select the chart type within the selected category. Each category has several chart variants. Select the one you want. If you can't find a type that you want, choose the one that's closest to your requirement. You can make small changes later. Click OK to insert a chart. As you click OK, a spreadsheet appears and PowerPoint window looks like this. Delete all the information in Excel sheet. Enter this information into the spreadsheet. Some more. Don't leave blank rows and columns when entering your data. Close the spreadsheet window. The slide should look like this. Some more. You can place your chart on a new slide from your data in Exist slide. Edit chart data. To edit chart data, follow these steps. Click on the chart. Click Edit data in the Design tab in Data group. Edit data option. Excel spreadsheet window appears. Now edit data in the spreadsheet. Chart tools. The chart tools appear on the ribbon when you click on the chart. The tools are located in three tabs, Design, Layout and Format. Within the Design tab, you can control the chart type, layout, styles and location. Within the Layout tab, you can control the insertion of pictures, text boxes and shapes, labels, backgrounds and data analysis. Within the Format tab, you can adjust the fill colors and word styles. Modify a chart. Once you have created a chart, you can do several things to modify it. To move the chart, click the chart and drag it another location on the slim slide. Or copy it to another slide. Choose the desired location and click paste. To modify the chart size, click the chart. 
Click on any of the corners and drop and drag to resize. Tick the correct option.